Hi, this is Shannon with Florabella Collection. Today I'll be demonstrating the Florabella Texture Applicator Action for Photoshop Elements 6 and above. The action also comes in a CS2 and above version, so check out the video for that. Um, today we'll be working in Photoshop Elements though. And this action comes in two parts and needs to be played in the photo effects palette. It doesn't work with the action player method. So here we are. We're going to start by double clicking the uh, texture applicator part one. It's going to tell me to choose my texture and resize it. Always press continue when it gives you the choice between continue and stop. Okay, it's going to bring me to Florabella Texture Set 3. Today I'm going to be working with a texture called Brownstone. I'm going to double click that. It's going to place it right on top. Use your little handles to resize it. Okay, that looks good. Now you can either uh, double click or click Enter on your keyboard. And now it says to change the blending mode and opacity and to use a soft black brush to remove the texture from the desired areas. Click continue. So here we are in the layer mask. We're going to make sure our brush is black. Our foreground is black here. We're going to choose a brush and we're going to choose a soft brush, one that has an airbrushy type look to it. Okay, we can use our bracket key to enlarge our brush. And I'm going to start with 100% opacity here because I want to take this texture off of her skin in this case. Okay, now you can notice it's also removing the tone of the texture, which is not a good thing, but we will be adding that back in later. Okay, um, sometimes what I do is after I remove that texture, I bring it down to about 30% and I brush around that area so that the the transition is gradual. I don't want it to look unnatural. Now, if you'd like to see what you're doing more clearly, you can click the backslash key right above your enter, and that will uh, turn the parts that you've painted red. Okay, so um, we already, this is 100%. Now we are going to just lightly paint around the outside of that so the transition is gradual. Click on the backslash again. Now I think I'm going to bring my opacity up at this point to about 60-61%. Um, and like I said, the tone hasn't changed yet, but that's going to be fixed in a moment. At this point, you can also choose to desaturate the texture altogether if you don't want any tone but, but want the texture. So you'd click on your texture and you would go to Enhance and Convert to Black and White. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to choose Edit Undo. Whoops, Edit Undo because I want to keep the tone of this. All right, so then you're done with Part 1. Next, click Part 2. And it's just telling you that you already have to have your texture on your image, which you do. Click Continue. It'll run through pretty quickly, and it adds back the tone, uh, and it tells you that you can adjust all of these layers if you like. So here, if I click Alt and click on the eyeball here, it shows you the before and the after. The texture is off of her skin, but the tone is here. Let's say you think the tone is a little too warm. You can just reduce the tone on her skin. So here's all the way down. It's too cool. You can bring it up to about 40, and your texture is at 63 now. So you can also choose to saturate the image. Um, now, this doesn't really affect skin tones too much. You can just saturate pretty much everything else, add a little color pop. You can lighten, darken, warm up, cool down, desaturate. That gives it kind of a vintage-y Vintage wash there, desaturating, and sometimes that looks good. Contrast, or there's a sweet sun layer that gives a real nice, vintage, sunny, overall warm tone to the image as well. So um, from here, I can go ahead and right click and flatten, or I can, you know, just continue to adjust the individual layers. Um, again, here's before and after, and Florabella Actions and Textures can be found at FlorabellaCollection.com. Thanks.